So, we're here. We finally made it. After an entire year of waiting, we finally get a release date. But not only a release date, we got a whole revamped brand of Rocket Arena, a whole new website, and we have just an amalgamation of new news regarding to Rocket Arena. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about it. Uh, if you guys have not seen the new release trailer or the reveal trailer, here's the time code where you can skip to the video to watch it. But as of right now, I'm going to go through everything that's new, everything that's going to be coming up in the game. Um, and yeah, it's it might be a long video because there definitely is a lot. So, Rocket Arena will be coming out on July 14th of this year. Very exciting. That's actually four days before my birthday, so it's like a little bit of a birthday gift, I guess, for me. <laughs> So is Rocket Arena free to play or paid? So Rocket Arena will actually have two versions of the game. Uh, there's going to be a regular uh, retail value of, I think, $29.99. And then there's going to be something called a Mythic Edition, which is essentially like a deluxe version, but it's going to be for $39.99. And it's going to provide you with all content that features in the basic standard edition, plus the Mythic, mythic Outfit um that jado has there's gonna be also other outfits for uh kai blastbeard izel um and yeah uh, essentially there's gonna be new outfits for the uh the people that we played in for the beta there's also gonna be other trails there's gonna be two new trails in this package and you'll be getting a thousand rocket fuel which can be also purchased uh through the blast pass um i'm assuming there's going to be a season pass there definitely will be a season pass i don't know why i said assuming <laughs> um and there's also other in-game purchases if you guys feel the need to uh, purchase those one big thing too i'm talking a lot about money here there's going to be no loot boxes all the heroes maps modes are always going to be free and it will switch around per season there's going to be seasons too <laughs> is the game first person or third person now for those that have played the beta, we all know that we've played it in first person, and it plays pretty well in first person. But for some reason, the developers decided to actually change it to third person, as you can see from the gameplay. Um, apparently, the game plays great in third person. I think it was a bit weird at first, but you know, after watching a lot of gameplay, I can kind of see how it would play out, and I'm honestly kind of curious on what my gameplay and other people's gameplays will be like now that, you know, the perspectives are just different. <laughs> it's it's definitely a big change in my opinion. Is there cross-platform play? There definitely is cross-platform play. So you can play with PlayStation people, Xbox people. I don't think it's going to be out for Switch, but definitely for the PlayStation and Xbox. Um, and the PC, I mean, obviously the PC. So all three consoles will be cross-platform, which is very great. So what is actually going to be coming out on launch? Like, what are we going to get on launch? Well, there's going to be 10 playable characters at launch with 100 levels of progression per character. Per character. So every character that you have has its own level of progression system. So you can max out Izel to 100, you can max out Blastbeard to 100. That's the max cap of each level. So there's going to be a lot of hours built in with the grinding and you just got to have to learn. It's going to be a great learning experience is what I'm trying to say, trying to master all the characters that we have so far. There's also going to be 350 plus unlockable cosmetics, which is pretty cool. Like, I'm just, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> And also, Rocket Arena will have 10 maps at launch, with more to come through post-launch seasonal content. And obviously, all maps will be for free for all players, which is really great. It's fantastic to hear. For Season 1 of Rocket Arena, it's going to be arriving on July 28th, not 24th. It'll be arriving July 28th, and it'll include a new character available for free, new maps, 10 plus new matchmaking playlists, Dozens of new cosmetic items, event-based challenges, unlocks, main menu updates, and game modes, a new season of ranked play, 
with a dedicated ranked matchmaking playlist and ranked play artifacts. Wait, I'm not done yet. Blast Pass with free and premium progression tracks for cosmetics. And that's gonna all be coming in season one. And I'm assuming it's all gonna become a regular thing as you know, seasons develop in overtime. So you would probably expect a formula like this for future seasons. Man, oh man, there's a lot in this game. And I am incredibly excited to completely grind this game out. The fact that they actually added in ranked was something that I was really hoping for. And now that it's a thing, I, me and my friend, my friends are just gonna destroy like the opposition, you know? We're just gonna we're gonna go ham on everybody else. I remember just destroying everybody in beta, so ranked play is definitely gonna be a mode for me. <laughs> and yeah, that is everything that we know as of right now about Rock and Arena. The hype is definitely revived. If you guys are excited about Rocket Arena, please let me know in the comment section below. If you're new, stay subscribed for more Rocket Arena type content, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Rockets away! Let's kick this into gear. The trophy will soon be mine. Have you ever wondered why life is so good on Crater? Sure, we've got the beautiful beaches. Cannonball! Quality public transportation. <laughs> and exotic destinations. Another victory! The people are courteous and friendly. Jolly good for me. And uh, always happy to help their fellow citizens. Are you leaving already? But the real reason life is so good? We've got rockets! Let's hit the trail! Rocket.